Never wants to come here. We have three snakes. Who wants who wants to come to a region with three snakes? Uh, I, I don't. But it's, it's exactly. Eliakim? You, you remember Eliakim. Coming up to Bears and maybe like, hmm, I'm not here on a business trip. Let me casually just get third place smoking Philly's finest. All right, relax, relax, relax. Hey, listen. The stats relax. don't lie. The stats Any, don't anyways, lie. Here we go. All right. Toxic, you're already finding 46% on Popo. Coming back in there with the Nair. Yeah. The hardest about this, ma about this matchup is the fact that you don't have, like, you have the laser. That's, that's going to be your saving grace in this matchup is the laser to fight, play around these grenades. Like, Bobo can really do a really good job of taking advantage of those set grenades and really doing uh, getting his damage up on Wolf. Because Wolf, you know, Wolf has to, he has really, he's a really good character, but he has to approach. Eventually, yes. right? He has the laser, but he has to approach. And hitting Snake Shield a lot means you're going to be taking a lot of damage. If you can find those kill confirms, you can keep yourself in the lead. That's one thing. And immediately you find that back here. That's what you've got to do in this matchup. But if Bobo can find those grenades and get that damage up as long enough as he can, then he can definitely take his leader immediately and pull the rug out from under Stocktaker. Yeah, but Stocktaker has done this song and dance oh so many times. Have You can see the spacing and the confidence in those nares as well, kind of just piling that nair, those wolf aerials around those grenades as well, catching them in hand, making Phenomenus and just playing around it so, so well. And beautiful neutral get up to just get out of that situation. The roll to the ledge to avoid the C4. You can tell this is a very seasoned matchup for him, so it's kind of just if Bobo can get the upper hand and just play this character matchup pretty, pretty solidly right now, but Stocktaker is just kind of playing this out so, so well. Oh, there we go. Coming back down there with Sporter. Stocktaker doing such a good job of finding those little bit of a uh, the one-two pieces on that Wolf. I'm losing the Stocktaker to the back here, but 75%. Mm -hmm. Absolutely nothing to scoff at. The really thing, hardest thing you have to do here, as we saw earlier, is finding those stocks against the snake. Catching him lacking there, finding that back air like we saw earlier. But Stockton did such a good job of kind of catching Bobo on this. Uh, he got him sleeping at the wheel a little bit. Yeah, and these hops kind of just in place to catch Bobo commit to, committing to these grenades and the C4 kind of explosions. This is where he really capitalizes it. And one of the strong suits that I think is going to help out Bobo in this case is in these scrapping situations right there. Snake has phenomenal brawling data when he kind of comes out of the shield with the dare. He has a dash attack as well, which is a super, super commanding option. Oh, yeah. So we're going to see how that's going to play out later in this set. But right now, Stocktaker has Bobo at the ledge. Going for the high, very, very good stuff because you just want to invalidate that wolf trapping. You want to abuse that armor from the, the cypher to just go oh. up on high, but you are going up on high for that stock there. Very good stuff, fighting that up air there. Now, Stock Taker sitting in that lead once again. The hardest thing about this matchup, too, we're seeing like Stock Taker obviously doing a very good job. He's kind of dealing with that damage that Snake does, and just like he's like using those arrows from Wolf so well, kind of catching Bobo on this back foot time and time again, using those arrows like a pseudo disjoint, you know, and just Bobo is really struggling to close out anything against this Wolf because it's always just yeah. throwing out the right hitbox in his face. Wolf is uh, essentially a oh, story. Uh -oh. Like, you may have that sticky eye. Look, it's right back on Bobo right oh. now. Another back here. That's a head snipe for you. But right now, going on low, catching him with a down smash as well. There was no option for you to broom. There's no option for you to breathe right there. He covered all of those options. Oh, golly, what a play there from Stocktaker, finding that down smash and the two stock in game number one. Now, we were talking about this, this, this too. This snake is really struggling because, like, instead of throwing aerials on his shield and taking a lot of damage from those grenades, Stockkicker is really just waiting, is just really just jumping into him, like, and waiting yeah. for Bobo to throw out an option. Waiting for Bobo to make that mistake first. That's the thing you're going to do against the snake players is, is let them play their own game, let them psych themselves out. And we saw that from Stockkicker. He literally just, he played just super clean. He just cleaned him up. Yeah, the Nairs, they did not graze the grenade at all. Oh, yeah. If anything, very minimal. They were so beautifully placed and catching Bobo, like you were saying, committing to these options because at Snake, you know, you're going to get punished big time for that. Oh, yeah. So I think, Bobo, if you want to uh, if you want to do better going to this game, you definitely got to, like, you got to play a lot more patiently, right? You, you can't let Stockhead get under your skin and, like, uh, force you to throw out, like, these phantom options or whatever. You definitely got to be a lot more careful. Like, sit there in your zone with your grenades, with your C4, and just have more of a dominant presence. Fight back a little bit. Stop hey, fight back. He's playing, fight back. he's throwing all the cards on the table right now, bro. You gotta, you gotta have, play a little bit of your own game right now. Yeah, and uh, I kind of, this is a very interesting stage pick because both, this stage goes hand in hand for both characters as Wolf ooh, is able to set the phenomenal combo game. And right now, speaking of combo games, Bobo setting up very, very smartly using these platforms, and this is what you're gonna see. A lot of the grenades, a lot of the C4 setups, going for the platforms as well and just trying to cover the roll out and the roll on in. Stock Taker avoiding the grenade as well. 
But, you know, having to play a lot of catch-up this time around as Bobo had a very, very phenomenal start. Oh, yeah, there we go. Comes out, hits the grenade there. Bobo only taking 57 right there and doing 94 to Stocktaker. Like you're definitely really struggling to uh, get this damage and considering that Bobo is playing a lot more of a conserved game and just playing a lot more aggressive. When he gives one given the chance, he finds that Nikita too. That's that punch you need against Wolf. And Bobo takes his first lead of the set. You always just have to catch Wolf like that. Just getting on those uppies, the Nikita's to kind of just sniping on now. And I love the grenade to come oh, no high in the jab as well. Messing up that oh. whole flow. We're currently working on that three stock right here. Bro, I see snake players do that all the time. It's the first time I've seen somebody fall for it. <laughs> like, it's it's one of those things, like, you know, like, like it seems like a fake, like, mix-up or whatever, and once you get hit by it, you're like, damn. Damn, they, they, were, yeah. they were cooking the whole time. It's like they were just trying to push a button. It's like, no, bro, I'm catching the slack. I'm catching the slack right now. Oh, uh-oh. And Bobo catching stock taker right now, sleeping on that sleeping cypher. Sleeping at the wheel right mm -hmm. now. Oh, you my can't, God. Not able to get that down smash off on the shield. That's going to be so oh fatal. Oh, my God. Ooze. Oh, he's Stun alive. on him. He's alive. He's alive. Wait, wait. He's still stunting! Oh my He's god! He's still stunting. He is still stunting with that three stock. Yeah, we were talking about this traffic earlier. Stock to get a little bit of that highway hypnosis right now, my boy. I had Good to stop. Lord. I had to stop and look. I can't avert my eyes. I am looking respectfully. Stock taker falls the three. Bailable with a three stock in game two. What a statement. That is definitely going to be the pace changer Bobo is going to need. That's bro, that that that's the he literally he was like, alright, alright, you wanna play uh, around my shit this whole time? Yeah, I got you. I'm gonna I play more you. aggressive I'm gonna mix and stock taker simply was not ready for it, bro. I told you, you know Bobo is not afraid to scrap. He ain't afraid of that ball, that go that close quarters kind of scrapping. So we're going to see how stock taker is gonna adjust to that game plan right now. As we can see, you know, still just hanging around, just trying to threaten that space, committing to those options outside of the shield with the Ferris as well. But Bobo diving on in with the dash attacks. Still just pressuring him so, so nice. And uh oh, back at the ledge. Gets no the snake! Oh my god! Four smash! Stock taker, please! Oh my god. Bro, stock taker, he's Oh, bro, he's getting cooked right, right now. now. Getting oh. cooked in the hot pot right now. Bro, Chris is in three days, bro. He's already cooking up the turkey. Uh-huh. Definitely got to get primed and ready. Season that bad boy. Cooking up real early so you can bust it out at the dinner table. This is ridiculous right now. Bobo, you, you were saying he's definitely not scared to scrap, and I fully believe you at this point. Uh-huh. This guy's OD. And right now, Stock Taker just trying to gain control back at this game right now. Can definitely do it. You know, Wolf having one of the strongest backers in the game and one of the best tools. Bobo going up I going up on the low right now, looking and you can see Stocktaker looking to just snipe that sock out with the back air. But Bobo still just hanging on out and playing that zoning game. He loves oh so much. Fighting there with the forward tilt there too. Bobo just playing the patient game, playing a lot more reserved. Sitting with that lead that you gotta do against the wolf and make him run up to you. Stocktaker is finding that dash act though, looking to find something here at the ledge. But the stock that back air, the weak is not gonna do it just yet. Waiting for that punish there. Oh, just barely missing up that back air. Yeah, no air dodge. I believe Stock Taker was kind of just looking for that, but Bobo was just not giving at it, which was a, a very smart decision, if you ask me. Oh, there you go, setting up the laser once again, dropping those grenades there. Oh, four there coming out. Stock here trying so hard to take the stock, but now you've got Snake with almost max rage. You need to take the stock yesterday, my guy. Yeah, but that C4 is in the way right now. It, that is an option you definitely don't want to run up to. Oh, there you go, there you go. There up you go. air, all right, Stock Taker taking it back up right now, but one wolf string, one wolf combo will definitely get that percent on rolling, but oh. Bobo lying in the way from the trenches with the up tilt, primed and ready to get these kicks kind of going online. All right, Stock Taker found a cute little 40 piece there, trying to make it back into this game. Oh my gosh, catching the shield there with the Nikita. Oh, almost had the roll there. Not able to find just there with the dash tag, but you're almost at 160%. You know what that means against Snake. If I gotta play really scared and up to the knuckle at this point, looking to find that grab, and he immediately gets out of there. Yeah, hold on, Stock Taker. You know, trying to get control back in this game right now. Definitely looking poised and ready, but Bobo in the center, setting up it with the Snakes. Trying to land against this character is so scary, as you can see with the back air. It is such a commanding move to control that space. Oh, there we go. Four-air throw coming out once again. Stock Taker looking to close the stock out here at the ledge. Still the sweet uh -oh. spot, the sour spot of that back air coming Forcing out. Low. Oh, see if he can get to read. Oh, my gosh. Bobo getting caught jumping from the ledge once again. Getting way too comfortable throwing out those jumps from ledge. Stock Taker looking to close up the stock. Looking to take the stock. Oh, but yeah, Bobo holding on to his lead as long as he can. Looking to get at least a little bit of extra credit. And there we go. Nice, nice. There we go. 55%. Yeah, and you can see Stock Taker just trying to command these approaches with the, the laser. But Bobo, 
does not care. He will take the laser hit. He will come on up to your space. He does not care right oh, now. He's in the scoops lead. Up. Scoop taker. Fighting that up smash. Now we are on last stock scenario in game three right now, guys. What is... Wow. Yeah. This is very, very scary. You know, taking out the retired Smash player, the for, the current Elden Ring player as we know him for, oh taking him right back to the game. Gosh. Send Bro back to the Game Awards. Mm -hmm. That up throw is going to do it. And Bobo with the 2-0 set, 2-1 set over Stock Taker. I mean, what a... I, I, like, I was, like, kind of joking, right, mm -hmm. when Bobo, I said Bobo was asleep behind the wheel. I think he was actually kind of asleep.